It is. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Drink from the Firehose livecast. I am your host, Sean Baptiste from Firehose Games. We're a game developer out of Cambridge, Massachusetts. And on Wednesdays, uh, we like to have our friends come on here and show us that the games that they're working on, and we play them, and we talk a little shop, and you find out how the sausage gets made, or at least the dumb ways in which game developers talk to one another. Uh, so uh, uh, I'd like to welcome today... Uh, an old friend, somebody who, an old, uh, a person who I used to work with back in the day at Harmonix, Dan Teasdale of No Goblin, whose uh, new game Roundabout that you're looking at right now uh, drops tomorrow on Steam. Welcome. Yeah. Why, well, thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 yeah, this comes out tomorrow. You, how, how stoked are you? <laughs> I am pretty stoked, mainly for sleep. I, I haven't slept in five months. Yeah. I am looking forward. I've got this little like countdown clock here. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. That has like oh, yeah. the, yeah. So it's counting down until we uh, hit Steam at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific tomorrow. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and, and then it's released. It provided nothing explodes. I'm going to sleep for like four days solid. It's going to be makes, great. That makes sense. That's going to be incredible. <laughs> uh, that like, well, you, you, hopefully, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I, it generally after the release, at least my experience on Steam, it's about another week before you get to sleep. <sighs> yeah. Let me yeah. change this clock. Yeah, you're gonna have to change the clock. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it's a, yeah, because there's everybody's like everybody wants something and all of that. It's very, yeah. it's very fun. It's a very exciting time. Um, so how long have you been working on this? We had you on the show a few months ago. Um, that's... with it. Uh, yeah, we we started working this uh, around like June, July last year. So about yeah. 15 months, and it's been uh, myself and Panza. So we're a, a two-person team. Yep. Uh, and then we basically tricked a whole bunch of people to uh, to <laughs> sit on uh, inside of the back of a fake limousine, and we tricked a bunch of our LP friends to add their voices. And that's so good. Yeah, and this 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 FMV seventies limo spinning adventure kind of popped out at the end. <laughs> again, uh, it's been great just watching again the the opening sort of. Um, just the attract mode that you sort of have on here and just seeing Eka over and oh, over and uh, over again in what can be described as the greatest <laughs> costume of all time. So I think he owns that now. Like he I, does. I, when he, yeah, when, when, I, when he first did the, sh the uh, first shoot we did, I thought he just rented it because it's so amazing. And then he brought it to PAX East yeah. and he was at the, the PAX Rumble wearing it yep. and uh, he came to our booth and did some work on it. So I think he just... I think he just wears that all the time now. Here's the thing: I don't. I think he already owned it. I think he just needed somebody <laughs> to break this out of him. That's his real hair. I bet you thought that I, was a wig. That's his real head. I, I, I'm glad I could finally get him out of the uh, out of the '70s closet and uh, <laughs> to accept to accept who he is, and that is a perfect '70s millionaire. <laughs> all right. So uh, tell us a little bit about the game. So Roundabout is a '70s B movie game where you play as a constantly revolving limousine. Um, it's an open world uh, where you're picking up people, kind of like Crazy Taxi to a, a degree, but uh, since the car is always spinning, it's kind of got this puzzle element where you're uh, you're having to time your movement with the rotation to get around. Right, right, right. It's uh, it's uh, I, I remember from last time when I got a chance when I played it on the stream. I think it was a little bit a couple weeks after PAX East. Yeah. It was in an early state, and all, but it's fun. Even when you fail, it's fun because the explosions yeah, that's... are badass. Yeah, that's one of the things we really wanted to do is just make it really fun, just to like explode constantly. Like, it's not one of those games where you're, uh, where death is bad. It's, right, it's, right. It's, I suppose you may say you, you can plow through, explode, everything's fine. And then if you want to go for like true esports stuff, you can try to do like no explosion runs and no hit runs and things like that. I really can't believe how good it looks um, after just like a little over a year of development. Just it looks incredible. Well, thank you. Like it's it's actually it's something that I'm shocked how big it is at the end of it. Like I was always concerned that there wasn't enough stuff in the game, and then we finished it, and it's it's an open world with like these three huge levels and like ninety minutes of video and uh, <laughs> oh, that's like, a movie. Like, that's a film. Yeah, it's a, yeah. I I tricked my brother into doing the editing at the start, and I was like, don't worry about it. It's just an F. You know, we're just doing these short like five ten second clips at the start of each ride. It shouldn't be too much work. And I ended up sending him like 150 gig of video to edit and this 90 page script to edit down. And yeah, I kind of killed my brother. I'm so, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, you, so in other words, you guys won't be hanging out this year for Christmas or anything he, like that. He, he still lives in Australia. So I've got like an entire ocean of like protection. <laughs> There's an ocean of rage in between <laughs> you and he. 
I actually feel a little bad because he's uh, he's Beagle Rush on YouTube, so he's a pretty famous YouTube LP. He does uh, okay. XCOM, Iron Man, Impossible runs and things like that. And I I kind of dented his output for a, a couple of weeks. When we were <laughs> him. So I I'm sorry to all of his YouTube fans. You can have him back now. Hitting him in the wallet where it counts. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> all right. Well, let's uh, start up and watch a little bit. Uh, so. Uh, we're, we're starting the show a little bit early, so I imagine around 5.30 we're going to have a lot more people uh, come in, um, but that's going to be awesome. So we're going to get started, then we'll, I'm, I'm not going to have you give up all of the secrets just yet. Uh, okay, I will, I'll hold some stuff back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's jump in here. Oh, and uh, when we get to the part where you don't want me to stream the game anymore... I will yell. Yell. I, I, I doubt we'll hit it uh, in an hour, but okay. uh, if you oh, get... In case you're a crazy speedrunner, I will let you know. I'm not. I'm not even good at games. <laughs> Is this game? Oh, All right. City of Roundabout. There we go. The big twist. The city that always spins. If you can drive through here, you can drive through anywhere. Now, you might notice that things are a little peculiar around here. Well, that's because this is Roundabout. Everyone does things different around. I love this footage. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, only the finest stock footage the from The finest stock time. footage. It's brilliant. Uh, here we go. Hi there. Uh, Gio Rigio Manus. Meet Giorgio Manus, the world's first revolving limousine. So good. I love the music too. It's just so we, we licensed the uh, the Turner Broadcast Music Library for all of our FMV stuff, oh my and it's God. all it's all of this amazing classic like seventies and early eighties uh, orchestral themes and stuff. And it's just... It sounded like uh, like a, an award show or like uh, CBS's like Battle of the Network stars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just like the most like weird sort of putting it all together, or even like a Let's Make a Deal sort yes. of like walk up music. <laughs> it's so good. All right, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna start the this test. Yeah, you got oh. this. I believe in you. I. That's a mistake. <laughs> Nothing could stop Giorgio from twisting and turning. There we go. Nice. Yeah, you got this now. Just killing people like crazy. You know how I roll. Yeah. So we do have a no violence option in the game, so if you want to play with like small kids and you don't want blood splattering everywhere, you can turn that on and uh, it'll play a boing sound instead of uh, <laughs> death. <laughs> and also shoot out like fun little like triangles and squares and stuff. Well, I guess you That'll be amazing. I, I should turn that on at some point just to try it out. That's really funny. We actually have a whole bunch of extras we chucked in as well. We have roundabout mode, which changes every sound effect to a fart sound. <laughs> which is why I have wanted to do that for so long, and then finally got that in the game. That is incredible. <laughs> With All right. License. Right, complete. Now I have a license. I only blew up once, so apparently that's good enough to get a license. <laughs> You're number six against your friends, so that's pretty good. Oh, Top have... ten of friendly to board. What they don't know is I don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey the Mechanic. That's uh, E from Xbox Live. Yes, as it is. That's my best dude. Yeah, he's really, really cool. All right. He just he's gonna he's gonna keep it easy for me. Mhm. Mm cool. So, what was the? How did you? Uh, like, what was the first sort of like idea, the seed that sort of led to this game? So a lot of it, uh, a lot of this like comes from like the spinning uh, of like this long thing. Yeah. And, uh, a lot of the inspiration for that comes from this uh, GBA game called Kur Kur Kur, and which came out in uh, Europe and uh, Japan, but didn't come out in the US. And it was about this uh, bird that jumps into uh, basically a long helicopter, okay, and then flies around these weird mazes. It's it's super weird. Uh, they didn't really do anything with that mechanic afterwards. Like, I think they did a GameCube sequel where it shoots guns or something. But it's... Uh, oh, wow. I always had that idea in the back of my head of, like, man, what would it be like if you just took that core idea and, like, blew it out and did uh, you know, did it in an open world, did it with, like, all of these crazy upgrades, added some, like, real narrative to it. Right, right, right. Uh, and then everything else kind of piled on from there, like, making a, a 70s game out of it uh, with, like, the Tony Hawk-style scoring system that I've been basically dying to get into a, a game at some point. And we just kind of got this amalgamation of random ideas that kind of uh, 
turned into roundabout. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So I dropped off E. Mm -hmm. That's a good start. That's a good start. And then it wants me to use the change to upgrade? No. I so, got so, yeah, right now you only have the slow motion upgrade. So if you hold down the X button, uh, there that'll... We go. Yeah, you can actually swap those out, which is what the upgrade screen was showing. Uh, if you run over a bunch of people, uh, you'll get the uh, the very nice ice cream horn, which is an ice cream truck music box that makes people run into the limo. <laughs> uh, and there's a bunch of stuff like that. You can uh, uh, you can get one that lets you drive on water. There's uh, one that actually lets you change the rotation of the limousine, which is pretty handy. Uh, so there's a bunch of different things you can swap in and out depending on your playstyle. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm picking up a kid. She looks like trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about the kid or the, Kate? The kid. bread and butter. With just a quick look at the stare on that adorable one. Go. If anybody has any questions from the chat room, feel free to uh, pass those along. I know uh, Two Flower is in here. Uh, I imagine he probably has a question in here somewhere about awesomeness detection. It is in this game. <laughs> there is awesomeness detection in roundabout. Good, good. No game is complete without a little awesomeness detection. <laughs> so while you're playing, I should probably do my obligatory shill. Uh, we are, you can pre-order now at roundaboutgame.com if you cannot wait until tomorrow. Uh, that's, uh, we have a 20% discount going on for launch, so it's only uh, 12 bucks instead of 15 uh, if you want to buy roundabout this week. Or sorry, over the next seven days. Right. Uh, we also have a deluxe edition as well. And the deluxe edition is usually 20 and it's 16 for launch. And that comes with uh, Giorgio Cam, which is first person roundabout, which is oh. absolutely brutal. Uh, we have a bunch do, of... Can you do that on the Oculus? We keep getting asked that. And that I, would definitely make you throw up. That would kill someone. Yeah. And I don't... We're very small. I can't afford lawyers to pay for all of, you know, people dying from playing Oculus Giorgio Cam. <laughs> You would have done it when we were in <laughs> harmonics. <laughs> yes, yeah, so with all that MTV I... lawsuit money. <laughs> like, oh, we have a war fund. It'll be fine. As soon as Viacom buys us, and I'll I'll put that out. <laughs> uh, it'll be the SpongeBob edition of uh, of uh, Giorgio Camp. I love this idea. Uh, but yeah, we also have uh, a bunch of early builds in there, so you can see our prototypes. Uh, we have an amazing uh, art book that Pans is working on called uh, The Making of Roundabout that has uh, like full script annotated with comments and uh, behind the scenes on like how we made our logo and our concept art and stuff like that. Uh, it has a full soundtrack in, in there, a bunch of uh, cut movies. And yeah, it's, it's crazy how much stuff is in the deluxe edition. That's awesome. Um, and uh, oh, I should also mention, yeah, if you want to click the... Um we put the roundabout logo on our channel page here on Twitch. If you click that, that'll actually bring you to the Steam page. It doesn't bring you to roundaboutgame.com. But uh, if you do want to do go to roundaboutgame.com, that that's there you go. That's cool. And if you want to go to the Steam page and wishlist us, add us to your wishlist because then that I, helps I, uh, too. Yeah, that yeah, definitely that helps. Yeah, it really helps, and I get to see the little number go up, and it makes me really happy seeing the little wishlist number go up. So <laughs> please add us to your wishlist on Steam. Man, you're a sucker for gamification. I am. I just I'll see the numbers go up. <laughs> okay, I'll give you like free trading cards. Just please wish list us. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Like uh, when I first loaded this up, I immediately basically got one of the Steam trading cards. <laughs> I got the Beth one, and it was, I was oh, like, excellent. "Oh, I should check how much is this one worth right now." It's going for a buck twenty-four. Yeah, uh, I I noticed. Uh, so we, we gave all of our uh, reviewers some early access codes to do their reviews for tomorrow, uh -huh. and I uh, noticed uh, last night there's a bunch of Steam cards all of, up all of a sudden. Uh -huh. that I just, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. So, oh, two yeah. flower, two flower ads. Is there stage kit compatibility? Okay, I, I asked Trites and Pope to send me a stage kit at PAX. <laughs> They're like, I said, if you send me a stage kit, there's an open source library for the stage kit that, that I could integrate. I will add it in if you send me hardware, and they never sent it. So uh, email uh, support at harmonicsmusic.com and ask them why they haven't sent the stage kit, and I'll, I'll get on that. Uh, Two Flower also says it needs more Muse. <sighs> See what I have to put up with every day? You see what I have to put yeah. up with every day? It's, it's like every stream is just people asking for Muse and like, <laughs> let's quit. No, it's just Two Flower. Because <laughs> he's my favorite. <laughs> All right. 
So the guy, the DMV guy, uh, I, I picked him up. Hmm. And he's got, um, I'm trying to get him to a place. Yeah, oh. like most, like most uh, sports coaches, he also has to do another job to, uh, to support <laughs> himself. So what you're saying is this game is a um, intense critique of the U.S. education system. It is. I feel like you really needed an outsider to uh, to let you know about America's <laughs> problems with education. I <laughs> see. Uh, so this is a real problem for the baseball f field stuff because I have I've never played on a baseball field. So like I drew this. It's essentially in the art book. I drew out what I thought a baseball field looked like, and it was so terrible that Panzer just like laughed at me for ten minutes. And Those so kids I were just playing cricket. It's it's baseball. <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> Cricket's just baseball of just two bases. It's that's fine. A, that's the best footage your brother could find. It's like, <laughs> yes. ah, cricket, good enough. We, we found like a dozen pieces of stock footage of kids playing cricket, and yet there is no stock footage of the outside of a 70s limousine. Wow. It's, it's ridiculous. That's a little shocking. <laughs> well, take him home. All right, there we go. All right, kids. See, that's how you do it. Now get up there and give me 10 laps. Come on, move, move. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great this has changed a lot uh the uh th when i played it last time uh the opening is a lot different which I yeah like. we we uh yeah we kind of uh we moved the city to kind of like the middle of the game uh and then build out this this uh sort of ramp up into learning how to how to spin around which is which i've been really super helpful That's awesome. been, we've been really lucky as well we had a, a really great batch of play testers and beta testers and stuff that we just threw and cried as they destroyed our game and then uh, took all of that and, and made it better. So I huge thanks to everyone who, who play tested and made roundabout really cool. Oh, one bounce. It's okay. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. You're only 14 bounces behind Seg. You got this. I can't let Seg win. No. That'd be foolish. <laughs> Alright, five. Okay, you got this. Stay on target. Oh man, no. Oh. There's, there's trees and everything. <laughs> uh, I'll accept eight. I'll expect, uh, yeah. you know, I got, uh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Rank number three against friends. Who, who else we got in here? Okay, so you. Yeah, say. me. Oh, I don't feel bad. That's pretty yeah. decent. For a first time, that's pretty okay. For a first time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, Let's here. Ooh. Pick up the date guy. Yes, the most descriptive writing. <laughs> so this is actually Steve Kim, who uh, also did our Steam emoticons. So we have these incredibly rad uh, pixel art emoticons uh, from the same guy that did a lot of like the, the giant bomb like pixel art stuff that uh, was floating around. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, he's absolutely brilliant. And he's a great actor as well, which I was not expecting. <laughs> That's kind of been, the, if there's like been one challenge in making this game, uh, is that we underestimated how great all of our actors would be at acting. And so, like, we, we're like, okay, it's going to be super cheesy, it's going to be, you know, real, like, BC movie, and then, like, people just brought out, like, these amazing performances. <laughs> you wouldn't think that, necessarily. Yeah, exactly. At all. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's go. Although, it was weird, I was talking to uh, Hannah Full recently, mm -hmm. and we were talking about how many people in games are um, so, theater majors. Uh, Yes. And it's actually, like, a lot of us. It's, it's, that was the thing about, like, I know a lot of theater majors. It's kind of, uh... Yeah, it's kind of like yeah. a thing, weirdly. Um, it's, 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 she did a whole talk about it, actually, so. Um, but yeah, there's, like, it's, it's pretty incredible. Oh, whoops. Thanks. So you got it. Do I pay you now, or later, or do I, oh! Thanks, Giorgio. <laughs> I love it. Damn right. it, Steve. So if you head to the uh, right here, uh, yep. to the right of the, the right of the star, uh, there's a purple wrench. Oh, uh, yeah. That that's actually our customization location, uh, where you can get paint jobs and hats, and also Ooh, hats. Uh, yeah, because it's we're on Steam, we have to have hats. Uh, I agree. <laughs> Donut hat. Donut sounds good. At bot. Nice. Right. Horns. Oh, so these are these these are scattered throughout the world, so you have to go and find each horn and then uh, collect it. 
<laughs> All right. I like this. Yacht Rock. Oh, I want yep. that. Nice. Stylish. Feeling it. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> uh, well, why is that guy spinning? He said, learned it from you. You're learned, a terrible learned influence. learned it from watching me. <laughs> 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 there should be a whole bunch of PSAs for this. I love this. Oh, let's see. We might have some more people in here. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Shara says the burden critique of American education and sport continues. Uh, mm -hmm. Zigris says Beth is still my favorite character. Nice. Uh, Two Flower asks, do you feel this will come to dominate the Euro vehicle simulation game industry? Well, actually, we have something that I think will help with that. We have the official eSports speedrun mode, nice. which is uh, so we have a, a challenge. We have all those blue challenges like the ball bouncing mission. Uh, and we have a front end in the in the main menu. It's kind of like the Trials HD style front end for challenges. Yeah. Uh, and we also have a bunch of extra ones in there. And one of them is the official speeds run mode, which we chucked in because uh, we're we're huge fans of games done quick and things like that. Right. And so we, we built a specific speed run mode that has its own leaderboard, uh, and it basically auto activates story missions as well for you. So you basically have to go through and do all of the checkpoints and all of the story missions back to back, and it'll oh, that's it'll, awesome. It'll keep track of time and upload it and everything. Oh, that's a great so, idea. It's really fun, and uh, we opened it up to all of the beta testers last week, and I've, I've been playing this for 15 months, and they destroyed my time like two days in. Not like, a surprise. Like, you know, <laughs> half the time, so I, I'm, I'm miserable. I'm not even going to be first on a leaderboard before the game comes out. <laughs> it seems like that's always the case. Always yeah. The case. Um, I, do have a, I do have a reset button on the Steam leaderboard, so, so I just like cherry pick out and bump myself up. <laughs> um, somebody asks uh, Crossbow Flex asks, asks do the hats interact with the soccer ball in the coaches challenge they do not, they do not. Uh, okay that's good I, I originally had it in there and then it seemed a little cheesy and I, you know, I didn't want to you know, ruin the sanctity of uh, esports ball scoring so uh, <laughs> there's no, no collision for the ball stuff I, I, it hits the donut weird <laughs> alright let's see let's pick up this Elizabeth person I to get the hang of this whole limousine for hire All right. Curveball was about to land in the back seat. The back seat. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm running a little behind. You see, Julia's wedding is at 11, not 1, so we need to book it. Let's go, Giorgio. <laughs> <laughs> I love the reactions. There's just... I remember you saying last time you were on that you just basically got, like, an hour of reactions from her, just whatever, kind of like... Yeah, we actually did a second shoot of reactions uh, when we did the suburbs and the mountains area. And so we have, I think, five to six hours of just various turn reactions uh, that we slice through the game uh, just to make sure every turn is unique. And she's never going to react to anything ever again. She's used up yeah. all of her reactions. Yeah, then we got like, yeah, just never turning around, like hearing a noise straight ahead. <laughs> she just always... Yeah. <laughs> I can do this. I know I can do this. Eventually. Alright, here we go. Nice. The bee's knees. Hey, so... I'm only in town for a little bit, but... I could sure use... I like the lipstick. Look, the limousine's constantly turning. It's hard to get, you know, to make up. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very nice touch. I like yeah. it. Yeah, Beth had a bunch of really... This is also like an ad lib thing on on the day. And Beth had a bunch of really great uh, stuff like that. Like, she has uh, the line that was in the demo uh, we checked out last time, uh, where she calls uh, Ronaldo, our villain, an Eiffel turkey. And <laughs> I was like... We were, I was going through the script like, when we were doing the, the making of book, and I was looked at my line, and this is... I'm so glad she improvised that because my line was so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. So pick up the priest, or I can drive to the other star. I'm gonna pick up the priest. Listen, my child. We appear to have something of a problem. Yeah, if you look on the mini map, the star that's bouncing is the the newest stuff that you haven't played yet, and I the see. stuff that isn't bouncing is stuff you've done before. Oh, because you can go back and redo it for better times and such. Yeah, you get a little percentage meter at the end, and then you can go through. Uh, it's kind of designed like the way geometry was with their achievement system. Like they had the pacifist thing where you had to try and survive for X without dying and stuff like that. 
Right. Uh, with R, with R1, we have things like you know, try doing it without colliding with anything, or without using any power ups, or without jumping, and you have to collect all of those to get 100%. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see here. Not too shabby. Yeah, you're a pro at this already. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. <laughs> Phoenix Or says, Eightful Turkey is the best line I've heard so far. <laughs> I like it. Oh, come on, you got this, Baptiste. Well, thank you, my son. Nice. This hungover wreck will marry the lovely Julia. And it's all thanks to us. No, no, I can't do this. New plan, Giorgio. I dropped so that priest is uh, Richard Rouse, who's actually one of the uh, creators of The Suffering. Uh, oh, yeah. And he uh, worked at Microsoft for the bit on stuff like State of Decay. And then we, we tricked him into playing a priest <laughs> in, the back of the in the back of a fake limousine. That's so good. <laughs> it was about time he got brought down a peg. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's basically been the entire story of like filming for this game is finding like super notable important people in the gaming industry and then, and then just so they just, can never be employed again exactly just building a, a file of blackmail material for me so I can, <laughs> I can continue surviving in this industry hey oh well oh. what's done is done nice Lord, forgive me for abandoning my flock. Good luck to you, Giorgio. I like the hat. <laughs> He's uh, Father Guido Sarducci. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Grab somebody else here. All right. This is the introduction to our villain, Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo. You can tell he's evil because he's French Canadian. <laughs> I there's some the, my favorite thing about Quebecois is <laughs> uh, is um, they are the best at swearing. Yes. <laughs> Nobody is better at swearing than the French Canadians. They never will be. It's functionally impossible to be better at swearing than they are. Tabernac. So That's you can the biggest swear in French Canadian <laughs> in Quebecois. All right, I'm almost okay. So you can hit those blue uh, tires on the side, and they'll change your rotation direction. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Explode. All right. Okay, oh well, at least I hit that thing. <laughs> oh, Ronaldo is not going to be pleased. I should be spinning the other direction, but you know what? I do what I want. Yeah, you've got this. You're, you're a pro, you can spin any direction. <laughs> uh... There's somebody named Ronaldo in our viewer list for the show. <laughs> ha ha! <laughs> All right, Ronaldo, we want to hear from you. <laughs> we want to hear from you. Rank number two against friends, huh? Oh, whoops. So you can uh, you can skip it and also dump the passenger from the pause menu. Oh, did I already? Yeah, you hit the uh, retry ride button, which uh, oh, okay. as when you're trying to get 100%, you can just hit that button to keep redoing the mission to get all the checkboxes. Well, let's see if I do better this time. <laughs> so 
So I don't want to jinx you, but I am probably the number one time on this, if on your friends list. So it may be a little tough for you to uh, no, I'm, I'm, uh, overcome. <laughs> oh, I just want to do better for me. It's your, your own personal, uh, you know, growth as a, as a person. Right, right. <laughs> this is, yeah, I definitely need this more than anything else. Got close there. Got mighty close. Yeah. So did you uh, did you end up going to PAX Prime? Uh, we didn't do it uh, officially because that was like three weeks, yeah, three weeks before ship, and there's no, absolutely no way we could have done like a booth and uh, and uh, shipped a game at the same time. Oh right. But I did the next best thing, which I know you, you've always talked about wanting to do like the hammock, uh, like this the sleep time panel. Yeah. Uh, so what I did is, it's the next best thing, is I just uh, grabbed a seat at the Sheraton bar of a laptop and opened a bar tab and then said, hey, press slash people, if you want to come and grab a drink and play some roundabout for a couple of hours, I'm at the Sheraton bar. And like, <laughs> everyone showed up, I was sitting down the entire time, I had so drinks, drinks delivered to me, I, I don't think, like, it's one of those things like, maybe I just don't get expo space anymore, maybe I just like... I just drink for three days at a bar and people come and see me. It's really fun. I like going to conventions and not showing anything because uh, mm. uh, you're like, oh, other people make games. Yeah. Oh. Oh, cool. I am. That's that's the other thing I'm looking forward to once uh, once all of our launch stuff has died down is playing through my backlog of games. Oh I, God, uh, yeah. My backlog starts at South Park, and then I have just like 20 games I want to get through. But I just <laughs> can't see. let's see here. Hair. I don't think I, I don't have the jump capability yet, right? Yeah, you unlock that at the end of this suburbs area. Uh, okay, cool. Pick up Charles Maximilian. All right. I keep do, I like pressing this because I keep being like, oh, I know that person. And I'm always surprised. This is great. Now, let's see. Charles Maximilian for Giorgio Manos. Please hold. All right. Music is so good. A little Super Drake Tracker 2000 EX throwback. <laughs> it's amazing. There, <laughs> I have a task. Yay! Eka! <laughs> My favorite person ever. <laughs> last at meetings. If you could pop by and take care of When I saw him at GDC, I was laughing about like how I had seen him, and he uh, he immediately just went into the voice. <laughs> he immediately started talking like that. I just started. I could not stop laughing. Uh. It's just, just the perfect 70s Donald Trump-esque, like, millionaire. Yeah, it's like one of the douchiest, um, <laughs> douchiest voices. It's so good. So one of the people uh, we won't see on the stream because he's towards the end of the game, uh, uh, it, Eric Pope has a role oh, in it. No. He's Farmer Pope, and <laughs> he brought... He brought his A game. So all I'm gonna say is that if you're if you're a fan of people chewing tobacco and spitting it out into a plastic bottle. Oh, because he was gonna do the dip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just amazing. That's amazing footage. Fantastic. In my yard. This will not stand. Nobody messes with Charles Maximilian. What do Oof. Their mailboxes. Good. Take care of those mailboxes. Hey, that's one mailbox down. Spinning in the other direction, but I'm not. Right. Take care. I mean, run. Oh, oh. oh you're already off doing it. Good show. <laughs> uh. Oh, the streets will run red with blood. <laughs> Yeah, we're uh, T for teen uh, on our ESRB. <laughs> a hard T. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I was actually surprised when I saw that you had actually even gone through the whole process of getting it ESRB rated. Yeah, I mean, we kind of have to for our Xbox and PlayStation versions. Oh, right, right, right. But at the same time, it's my first time that I've actually done the paperwork myself for all of this stuff. And the, the descriptive amount of that the ESRB wants for 
like everything is insane. Like yeah. they have a they have a form, uh, it's like of like ten checkboxes specifically for poop references, <laughs> and you you have to. They 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 use uh, they they have their own weird scientific terms like are these poo coils or is it actual poop? And like so you have to go through and like check this thing to like have to figure out what rating you're gonna get. You're you're actually like wow this questionnaire is somehow grosser than my game ever <laughs> yes. would be. Yeah. My, my my job now is to fill out forms about how much crap is in my game. Literally, that's L literal. Crap. Yeah. Literally crap. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Let's pick up Beth again. Oh, that's the best. Hey you! I'm so glad you called. Beth is like the mascot for this so game. Yes, Beth and Jeffrey, I think, have turned out into like these weird. It's a weird combination. You wouldn't think a plastic skeleton would be in our uh, top three characters, but like. I'm, I'm so glad that our like cover art and key art is uh, Giorgio, Beth, and Jeffrey all in all in all in it together. So there is definitely going to be fan fiction about this. Oh yes, there's uh, there's probably going to be a very elaborate shipping chart that's going to hit Tumblr soon. <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> I did not see that coming. I like it. Whoa! So I'm. We don't. Ha we don't have any like crazy huge like licensed tracks or anything in this game. But the w if I had like a spare ten thousand dollars, all I would do is just buy the Blues Brothers Mole music and put it <laughs> in for this thirty seconds. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, you got yeah. it. Yeah, I gotta use the use the uh, slow mo button more often. I think. <laughs> this place has got everything. The voiceovers are amazing. <laughs> Yeah, all the pedestrian voiceovers, uh, we actually did an open call for people on Twitter to do voices, and we just got some of the the most amazing uh, pedestrian dialogue. We have like 700 different lines that it pulls from. <laughs> well, if you do, if you ever end up doing any DLC, I want in. Okay. Well, that, that'll be our, our, our horse armor, is the, the Sean Baptiste uh, DLC VO pack. <laughs> it'll, be like, it'll be like the... Uh... Uh, Nolan North things for, uh, for, uh, for, um, Saints Row 4. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoops. Alright, come on, you can do this. Alright. There we go. <laughs> I love this place. Ducks. Trees. I can really be myself here. <laughs> Thanks so much, Giorgio. You're... You're real special. Call me soon, okay? So one thing I should mention about Beth's wardrobe for, uh, for Roundabout uh -huh. is those are all of her clothes. That just like, surprised me. <laughs> see, when we, when we were like figuring out, like, okay, we're going to have to buy a bunch of wardrobe for Beth because she's an important character. Uh, and, uh, the, the actress that plays Beth just sent us, uh, like, 20 shots of her entire wardrobe, and it's all, like, clothes like that. It's just <laughs> absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness, you've come at just the right Alright, here we go. Ranger Stacy. Shh. Look, it's an incredibly rare straight lurping hover eagle. Straight lurping? Little <laughs> program of humor there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, follow the eagle. My God, Ugh. what a majesty. What a Whoa. noble creature. That's good. Nice. Go. 
Oh man, <laughs> this is. <laughs> that it's is easy. Rough. It's easier than it looks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because it's gonna keep knocking me. Around. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. That does make sense. That's fun. This is great. This is playing really nicely. This is awesome. this is fun. That's a relief. <laughs> I'm uh, uh, after I'm done playing this on the live stream. I'm probably just going to continue playing it like tomorrow and whatnot, and try to beat all your high scores. Awesome. Yeah, I want to see you. I want to see your score on the uh, the esports speed run mode. That'd be great. <laughs> Thank you, Giorgio. We also have a, we seem to have a running theme at No Goblin that we have the inability to uh, to uh, identify animals. <laughs> and so like we have like our eagle that's just this weird not eagle thing. Yeah, it's basically a robin. <laughs> yeah. To here. Oh, so I got sixty bucks. So I figure I could either. So what are the blue things? The blue stars. The blue stars are the challenges. Those are so the they're... challenges. So there's a new challenge open, like. Yeah, there's a, one on the left is a, uh, a, a find mission, which is kind of looks like uh, World of Warcraft's archaeology, where you have to try and find a location in the, in the before the timer runs out. Okay. Uh, and then the one up north is just a straight uh, like rampage style mission, where you have to try and kill as many people well, as let's possible. Let's do that. Or do like rampage mode. <laughs> Actually, you could probably uh, launch it from the challenges menu if you wanted to try some of the uh, extras as well at the same time. Let's see. To the main menu? Uh, yeah. Oh. So if you get into extras, um, yeah, this is the stuff we are talking about more before. Oh, right. It's like no violence. Uh, we <laughs> Awesomeness have... detection is in there. <laughs> yeah. So that uh, probably does a lot. I'm excited about this. Yeah, I did a lot of... I, we actually discussed about adding functionality to, to uh, awesomeness detection this time around. And we're like, <laughs> no, we, we, we can't. We can't. It has, to, it has to stay pure. People wouldn't believe if, if there was, like, awesomeness detection and it did something, people would be like, come on, that's just a coincidence. There's <laughs> yeah, no, no way it does just, anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go with... I want to try out the no violence mode. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Okay, that sounds good. That's a good way to do it. Yeah. Right. And then go to challenges. Yep. Uh, okay, so this is oh, DM Goblin says, can you reverse the direction it spins? Yes. Uh, by yeah. jumping off the blue things. Yeah, the, the blue things will spin you around, and there's also a power-up you can get later on that'll uh, let you do that as your power-up instead of the slow motion. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm going to go with... B wait, ball headers. That's, that's the one. You. That, that's the one we just did with uh, bouncing the ball. Uh, oh, well, and then, but your picture's on this one. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a different one in the city where uh, I do some incredible top tier acting. Oh my god! The, and then down diagonally down and left from yours is Pope. Yeah, that's uh, Farming Simulator 1977. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> All right, let's see. So we already we got the Great Hunt or Ball Headers. We did Ball Headers. Let's try the Great Hunt. Good happen. Oh, and you can buy properties, which I haven't tried doing yet. Yeah, that works kind of like Vice City, where you buy a property and then you come back and collect cash, and then you can use that to buy some of the more expensive hats and paint jobs. Oh, I like that. This area is perfect for Maximilian Development's next project. <laughs> Such a jerk. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play this challenge. I gotta go find some stuff. Yeah. So you'll hear a ping sound, uh, and that ping sound will get faster and higher pitched as you get closer. It's also a good oh. one to pull to uh, pull the camera out as well, because then you can oh, how see. How do you do that? Uh, if you pull the uh, the right stick back or down. Oh, I see. No. Oof. So if I find the spot, it'll just automatically sort of trigger it. Uh, yeah, it'll it'll trigger it. It's, it looks like a normal uh, objective location. Oh, I see. Uh, and if you find it, it'll it'll reset the amount of time you have to find the next one. Uh, and you basically just keep doing that with less and less time. Oof. 
Alright, so I did find a horn. That's true. That's that's even more important than uh, than finding <laughs> the location. I'm gonna try to find this location though, because hmm. otherwise, what have I become? <laughs> there it is. That's one. Oof. <laughs> Sometimes you get stuck and you're like, that's the end. There's no getting yeah. around this. There's one. There's two. No, no. This won't do it all. So yeah, some of the other challenges we have like this, uh, we have uh, Death from Above, which is uh, cars are falling down from the sky and you have to... Uh, you have to avoid them for as long as possible. Is it uh, Death from Above 1977? <sighs> you missed a chance there, buddy. <laughs> I've, got eight, I've got 18 hours to go through localization again if I want it for French. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have uh, the Limicide, which is the, the Rampage style mission. Uh, we have yeah, Farming Simulator 1977, which is uh, harvesting crops. Uh, which you run, running through a crop field to try and get as much as possible. Uh, one of the, my favorite dumbest things in this game is Desert Limo, which is basically Desert Bus, but in a limo. <laughs> uh, and it has full leaderboards as well. That's and because, amazing. because I'm a huge jerk that has to put one terrible achievement in every game, there is an achievement called Smoke and Mirrors that you get for doing an eight-hour run of Desert Limo. You are the worst person. <laughs> the worst person. <laughs> That's just, that's just, somebody's gonna die. Somebody's yeah. gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, let's see here. So if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to jump in on the chat room and uh, feel free to ask. Uh, if you, if we have Dan who made the game here. And uh, I... me who's not very good at it. I'm alright. I'm, not, pretty I'm no seg, but... <laughs> Oh. Get all this money, I need to buy something with it. Yeah, you need to upgrade your hat. <laughs> to, to something better than Donut. <laughs> yes. JK, there's nothing better than Donut. Hot Dog Dad is better than Donut. Hot Dog Dad? Hot Dog Dad is a the hot dog that's being cut to look like an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> that's the <laughs> dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb that, that we really we made dumb. it we made it a steam uh, emoticon as well. Oh so the emoticons God. you get with the game are Giorgio, Beth, uh, Mickey, Jeffrey, and Hot Dog Dad. Oh. That's fantastic. Yeah, I think I yeah, I think I buy this, right? Yes. Property bought. Nice. You now, own a, you now own a drive-in theater. I own a drive-in theater for all the good it'll do me. Yeah. <laughs> Jump down. Ooh. So what was, like, uh, the most surprising thing that sort of came up from making this? Like, maybe from watching people play it or just from uh, in your own abilities that you've added to since, uh, since making it? I think the most amazing thing out of all of this, like, the fact that it exists at all from, like, <laughs> from, like two people making this in 15 months... That's ridiculous, yeah. ...breaks my brain. Like, I don't, un I don't understand how that's happened. Uh, I don't understand how I wrote an entire feature-length screenplay, which is, like... <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not, a, you know, I'm not, like, the best writer in the world, but... I don't understand how we have a good screenplay that I showed <laughs> out for this game as like my first time doing it beyond like 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 beyond before that like I wrote like you know pedestrian box and like right. random mission dialogue here and there. Um, uh, I I I I there's there's pretty much I am amazed that a this exists and b that everyone seems to be loving it so far. Like going going into GDC, like my biggest concern was like we've just made the hugest mistake of our lives making this game. Making this game out of spinning limousine with 70s FMV. Who's going to like that? But like, <laughs> thankfully, a lot of people share our taste in, in humor and gameplay. So 
I, I feel a lot better seeing everyone play the game. I absolutely love it. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got a question here. Uh, someone says, out of curiosity, how heavy are the requirements for roundabout, spec-wise, I mean? Uh, pretty light, actually. So, if you want everything full detail and everything uh, on... Uh, I, my dev PC is like a three-year-old PC with like a, five, a GTX 570 in it. Uh, when, when we've been doing testing, uh, we have like a 2010 MacBook Air that we've been running that we, we turn all the details off and, and drop it down and res a little bit, and that runs at 30 frames a second. Oh, wow. Um, we have a, a Linux box, which is just like a Celeron and some motherboard we found in a junkyard with Intel integrated graphics, and that runs the game at 30. So if you turn off, like, if you turn off shadows and stuff, you can actually get it running on some really old hardware. Um, and then let's see, there's another question. I've noticed there isn't a Katamari Damacy mode to roll over objects and increase your limo size. Future DLC? Possible modding add-on? Don't think I haven't thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, because of the way we build our maps and stuff, it's a little trickier. But uh, right. man, I wish we had I wish we uh, had the technical ability to do that. That would have been amazing. Well, there's always time. Yes, round, roundabout to the uh, more roundabout. Uh... Roundabout, <laughs> the roundaboutning. Yeah. <laughs> rounding, yeah. Oh, oh, no. I love that when the limo explodes, it fully explodes. Yeah, there's, there's no half-assing this explosion. There's no, there's no like, parts left over. So, <laughs> it's, it's really thorough. Oh, one thing I should mention about this mission you're on. Uh, the guy that you're driving who's doing a very great Swedish tourist impersonation. Yeah. Uh, is Danny Baranowski, who's the oh, yeah. composer on Super Meat Boy and Cannibal and games like that. A genuinely sweet dude. Yeah, really cool guy. We didn't use him for music, just for acting. <laughs> that seems to make sense. Yeah. That seems to make sense. Um, uh, yeah, people ask, what game engine did you use? So this is all on Unity. Uh, we did a bunch of special stuff on our end to do streaming and uh, things like that, uh, but the the core of it is all Unity. Like I, like No Goblin, like Panzer and I are both ex AAA designers, uh, so I pretend to program, and then she she does her best artist impersonation, and then we come up with this game that <laughs> functions with no bu bugs and has an amazing art style. Which again, <laughs> talking of surprising things. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, it really does not look like a game that took two people 15 months to make. It looks much better than that. That is also a relief. <laughs> it really is. It's, it's great. Aww. Let's go, Giorgio. Sad Giorgio reaction face. <laughs> she just randomize, like, just have a bank of all of the reaction shots and then just randomize it. Ah, oh, that's that's that. I wish we'd done. I found a way to like split up the FMV like that because I'd have yeah. loved to have had like an extra where uh, instead of Giorgio we have like our Corgi driving the limousine <laughs> and just the dog turns around every time. Uh, yeah. There's so many cool things you could do just like swapping around those reaction shots. But uh, yeah, Oof. Steam Workshop support. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Oof. Yeah. All right, so we're starting to come close to the end of the show. So if you have any questions, get them on in now. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So this is, again, this is Roundabout, and it is available tomorrow. Do you want to do the rest of your spiel? Yes. Uh, Roundabout, a 70s B-movie game where you play as a revolving spinning limousine, comes out tomorrow on Steam with PC, Mac, and Linux. You can pre-order now at roundaboutgame.com and get 20% off. Uh, we have a deluxe edition that has a crazy amount of extras. It has uh, Giorgio Camp, which is first person roundabout, uh, early builds, uh, uh, soundtrack, amazing making of book, uh, crazy tons of stuff. Uh, it's 20% uh, off, uh, so 12 bucks uh, for the next seven days on, uh, on Steam and Humble Store. Cool. And otherwise, yeah, it's out tomorrow. Just, uh, just grab it. Grab it. Get yeah. those ranks up there so you're, you're constantly featured on the front page. Exactly. Also, you got to get those esports times in before the pro esports guys get in. You have to <laughs> lock in your spot. Really hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if we have five minutes, I kind of want to see you play uh, Giorgio Cam. All right. That's, uh, I can do that from the main menu. Yeah. 
Uh, if you quit out and then when you relaunch, it'll say uh, Deluxe Edition Extras uh, on the launcher. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me do that real quick here. I think that's uh, that'll be fun. Be here, so I could do that and then you. Oh no! It just went automatically to the full thing. Huh? I may have. Not ticks the box that downloads it for you. I will check into that and make sure that it is ready. It did the first the first time I loaded it up. It asked that. Oh, okay. Maybe if you uh, if you right click on Steam, it'll have a, a deluxe edition extras option that you can launch. Okay, so let's see here. Back into Steam. Sorry. Yeah, view deluxe edition extras. Yeah, if you click that. Okay. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> you have actually crapped your pants. Okay, yeah. so let's see here. I, I I died for about twenty seconds. <laughs> Giorgio Cam. Take a second. Alright. Oh, okay. Windowed. Previously on Roundabout. Hmm, why isn't that working? Giorgio Cam Roundabout. Giorgio Cam. This is a. Uh, the story behind this is we did an April Fool's joke called Giorgio, Giorgio, Giorgio Cam, Whoa. which is teamed up with. Wait one Nikki. second. Let me just uh, turn down the the volume just a tiny bit on the Giorgio Cam version. Mm -hmm. It's not too too. All right. So yeah, hit me, hit me with it. Yeah, so we did this April Fool's joke. It's like this is never going to exist. First person roundabout, you know, drive through the whole thing from uh, you know the driving wheel perspective. Uh, we did that as a joke on a video, and we got the highest spike in pre-orders that we ever saw <laughs> for, for oh, anything. Jesus Christ! And so now this exists as a real thing because people apparently hate themselves. First person roundabout. I'm already on fire. Oh my god, this is so hard. <laughs> This is so hard. So this is exclusive to the deluxe edition. So if you uh, if you pay uh, four bucks more for uh, for the game in the next uh, seven days, Ugh. you'll get this and all the other, other other things that are actually good and not terrible, like Georgia again. This is I can't even get off the bridge. <laughs> it's incredible. Off. Oh, <laughs> So one trick for this is if you just try and play off the minimap, it's a little easier. That's what I was just starting to do. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even believe you did this. You're a bad, you're a bad person. <laughs> yeah, you thought I was bad for the Smoke and Mirrors achievement. <laughs> yeah, this is far worse. This, this is unforgivable. <laughs> Oh. oh, bad. So this is why everybody should definitely not get the deluxe edition. No, I mean. Oh no! What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> and how? Oh yeah, I, I forgot to ask. Uh, uh, how much is this going to be? So yeah, this is uh, our retail price is fifteen for normal and twenty for deluxe, and then for the next uh, seven days for our launch week, it's uh, twelve dollars at uh, twenty percent off. Oh, cool. And sixteen dollars, uh, twenty percent off for deluxe. That'll be amazing. Yeah, and you can buy it from Steam. Uh, you can buy it straight from the Steam store at nine a.m. tomorrow. Uh, you can buy it from the pre-order for the humble store right now. Uh, you'll get a Steam code straight away, uh, and also ten percent goes to charity, which is very cool. Oh, that's cool. Uh, and also, we have wid uh, humble widgets on roundaboutgame.com, uh, which uh, goes to the charity of funding shelter and food for me. <laughs> So jump works oh, here as well. I did it! Yeah. <laughs> I made it to the end of the bridge. Uh, somebody asked, is there an achievement for this mode, survive for two minutes? There is not. I uh, I figured I probably shouldn't put too much effort into this. Like I was thinking, like, maybe we should put leaderboards in and things oh, like that. Oh, God! <laughs> 
But uh, uh, yeah, that no, jump it's... is the worst thing you have ever done. <laughs> <laughs> this is your legacy. This is your I, legacy. I'm gonna put that as a quote on stage. Like, this is the worst thing you have ever done. This is your legacy. <laughs> 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 Can you see why I don't want to do Oculus for this now? Yeah, oh god, this is bad enough without Oculus. <laughs> I have to go to dinner right after this. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well I think we're gonna we're at six o'clock anyway, so that's the end of the show. Um, Dan, I'd like to thank you again for coming on. Uh, the game looks awesome. I uh, thank you can't so wait much. to play more of this. I'm really excited. It's like I said, it's great also getting to pick up all people who I'm friendly with. Like, just playing a game where I get to pick up my friends, it's fun. I made it just for you. Yeah. <laughs> I am never going to bring Pope where he's going, though. That's just okay. not going to happen. That, that's, that's where your, your run ends. That's, yeah, that's, I'm done. I'll just take Pope <laughs> around in circles forever. Nice. Forever, it's, that'll be his hell. Um, but yeah, everybody, you should pick this up tomorrow, uh, or you can go to uh, roundaboutgame.com. To, uh, pre-order it now but again it comes out tomorrow so uh, you'll be able to pick this up uh, for 20% off so that'll be great and if you want to check out the page on Steam you can click the roundabout logo right here on our channel page that'll bring you right there and you can take a look at videos and screenshots and uh, read whatever nonsense Dan wrote about the game and add us to your wishlist but yeah add it to your wishlist definitely add it to your wishlist that's that that matters it does. That matters Surpri for like Steam rankings and stuff. Surprisingly, yes, it really does matter. Welcome They're, to 2014 yeah. in video games. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> just tapping the like button just means everything to, to, uh, to rankings. That's that's where we've ended up. That's, it's just, that's the <laughs> algorithm we've ended up with. Yeah. Um, but I'd like to thank you again. This game is awesome. You should definitely pick it up. Thanks for coming on, Dan. And uh, everybody, uh, if you haven't followed us, make sure to follow us. We stream eight times a week. So uh, that's good. I don't really have anything beyond that, but uh, thanks. That's everybody. a lot. Of, that's a lot of streaming. <laughs> that's a lot of streaming. All right, everybody. I will see you later. Bye.